Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah Bell. If you are new here, welcome. Today's video is a part four in my five part Halloween makeup series of the year. We are going to be turning ourselves into a peacock today. If you are curious to see how I created this look, the products that I used and the techniques that I used to also create it, stay tuned. So step one for the day is that we have already done our base. You can start with your base. You can start with your eyes. Like I say with all of these Halloween videos, you can go in whatever order you want to. So today I did my base first and I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes next and then do like the rest of the peacock additions and everything and all the fun stuff, all the gems and rhinestones and everything. This is going to be a really fun look today and I'm super excited. So for today, like I said, I started out with my base. I'm going to go ahead and jump into my eyes next so I can just get jumping into this uh this look for today <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with some primer on my eyelids I'm using my morphe lid primer for today I've used this one for a while and it's one of my favorites for sure so for today's look I'm kind of just pulling from my own creativity and a few photos that I saw on Pinterest that I'm kind of just like recreating and making my own if that makes sense I'm doing like a little bit of each so for my products today I'm going to be using my ColourPop Blue Moon palette and probably a lot of my James Charles palette again as well for the eyes we're going to be focusing on a blue and gold and then we're going to go in after that and add some like green and gold and other blue like peacock colors <laughs> so this is what we are working with today I'm gonna be dipping into the deeper blues because peacocks are usually like navy blue emerald green gold and like a little bit of brown in there so so we're just gonna go with it today. We're gonna go and just let our creativity take control. Starting off with a little bit of the blue from the ColourPop palette, we are dipping into Fine China and just starting to set a base. I haven't done blue eyeshadow in a while and this is going to be so fun. With my hair, it's going to be a lot, but that's fine. It's Halloween. <laughs> Dipping in to Clued In and I'm just going to really deepen the outside of my eyes. I'm just kind of leaving out the lid because I'm going to do a gold liquid eyeshadow cut crease today. We are really going extra peacock queen. For my gold eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow. This is the shade 24 karat gold and I'm just going to cut my creases. Wow, this is so pretty. I actually haven't used this yet. So after that dries, I'm going to go back and fill in some of the less pigmented spots and just kind of even out the color. Then we're going to do a basic wing and smoke out the underneath of the eyes. And that's going to be a pretty basic eye look for today. So after this, we are just going to be jumping into the extra designs and rhinestones and everything. So for a pretty basic and easy to follow look. For eyeliner today, we are just going to be doing a basic wing, and for that, I'm going to use my NYX Epic Ink Liner, my all-time favorite liquid eyeliner, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw on that wing now. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the contour of this project project <laughs> the contour of this look for today for my contour today i'm going to be using the same shade i used on my eyes i'm going into the ColourPop palette and using the shade clued in that is so bright oh my goodness wow Okay, so I just did a little bit of contour on my cheeks, my chin, and my forehead. For now, we are going to add just a little bit of a lighter blue on top of that for like a blush effect. And for that, I'm going to try to use Starry Eyed and see how that goes. Perfect. Love that. I never thought a blue would look so natural as a blush. Now that we have got our contour and blush down for today, we're going to jump into the extra additions that I want to do with the lines. And I'm going to start out with a couple green, maybe a little bit of yellow gold. We'll see as we go along. We're going to kind of just wing it. But I'm going to be using a few different shades from my James Charles Morphe palette. Mostly this blue, this green, maybe a little bit of like the gold and brown shades. We shall see. But for this step, I'm just going in with some really finely angled and thin brushes so I can get some kind of like brush stroke effects. So I'm just gonna jump into that. Just trust the process. Now that we have got all of the lines and everything drawn out, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of highlighter. We are pretty much almost done with this look already. It's a super basic, super easy, like, you know, creative look. I'm going to end up adding a few of these cute little kind of peacock colored rhinestones, I think that they're called. I'm gonna add a little bit of these after I finish off my eyes and lips and everything. And then that's pretty much gonna be the end of the look. But I hope you guys are enjoying so far. I'm going to quickly add my lash and lipstick and be right back for the addition of the rhinestones. So that is what we are looking like so far after we have put on our lashes and lips. So if you want to, you can totally stop now. Maybe add a cute feather headband or something and just escalate the look a little bit. But for today, we are going to go super extra. We are going to do a little rhinestone action. For my lashes today, I used my Pink Sia lashes in the style Forever Minky, one of my absolute favorite styles. And for the lipstick today, I went in with my Kylie Cosmetics Kaya Majesty. I love this thing literally so much. It's lasted me for so, so long, but it's like the most beautiful blue black reflective metallic lipstick I have ever seen. <laughs> I am really, really liking the blue hues and everything that are coming out of this look for today. So I'm really excited to add these little gemstones. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding a little bit of eyelash glue to the back of these gems just to be able to stick them to my face. I'm not really going in any particular order either. I'm just gonna kind of stick them wherever I want. I 
I had forgotten to add my mascara to the lower lashes, so I went ahead and did that right now. We added our gemstones for the rounding out of the end of this look. I think I might just stop there, but I do have one more surprise for today. And that is our finished look for today. I went ahead and got this really cute headband. This is actually a headband too, but I just went ahead and put it around my neck to wear it like a necklace because it's cute. And I already added the jewels as like a cute little headband. So I figured it would be cute to wear as like a little choker or something. The clip you can kind of do wherever you want. I put it here for like a cute picture coming this side. From the front, it looks a little funny, I will admit, but that's fine i'll just sit facing this way anyway i had a, a ton of fun just creating this look for you guys today i hope you all enjoyed i hope this tutorial was easy to follow and if you guys don't have the exact products that i use like i always say that is totally fine you can use anything that you have in your closet in your closet anything that you have in your makeup kit. Like I was saying, I had a ton of fun hanging out with you guys today and creating this look for you. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun content like this. I post two new videos every single week, every Wednesday and Saturday morning, and I would love to have you guys come hang out with us. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. I will always list those links down below in the description box if you are curious to come hang out with me on a day-to-day -day basis and just be more involved in my everyday life and decision making for YouTube and life. Any of the products that you didn't catch, I will leave a long descriptive list also down below in the description box for you guys, just so you could know what I used. <laughs> if you have any other questions on this look or the products used today or the techniques or literally any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you on that. But for now, that is gonna be it for today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Thanks for hanging with Han today, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>